9 a.m. and I'm here to make my breakfast. It's my high carb day. Um, just woke up, so I've got most of it ready. So I'll show you guys really quick. I got um, 200 grams of chicken in here. Um, I'm gonna turn that on. And then I got my oats in here. 120 grams of oats, I got my veggies, and then I got a little bit of bananas, and I'm just gonna quickly, I'm gonna quickly go for a walk, um, and when I'm back, my food should be done. So this is something I do a lot. You'll notice that I just turn the air fryer on and I go for like a short walk outside. I'm probably just gonna go to this little market and uh, show you guys kind of the fruit and stuff that I get. All right, we're on our walk here. Got my ESL hoodie on from uh, Stockholm. <laughs> Uh, even though it's dark out, you'll notice I still wear my glasses and I know a lot of people look at me when I'm on the street and stuff or in stores and it doesn't matter if it's cloudy. Um, it, it, it comes through the suns and it hurt, or it comes through the clouds, sorry, and it, it just hurts my eyes. I mean, it does, it does feel a little bit better when it's cloudy, but it doesn't really matter. I just have to wear glasses pretty much when I'm outside, um, in general. If it's like dark out, obviously I don't anymore, but... Um, even in stores, like the bright lights and stuff. So anyway, that's why you see me wearing the glasses. So it's finally cooling down here. I don't know, man. Normally October is supposed to be cold and it's been getting up to like, I don't know, 25 Celsius, which is what, like 50 plus 25, like 75 ish, 75, 80 Fahrenheit ish, somewhere in that range. Um, all the way into October, which is like super weird. So I guess the little warming is real. I don't know. <laughs> but uh yeah i'm really hoping it cools down because coming back from stockholm it felt like this weather in the morning but during the middle part of the day it starts getting up to the higher temps again and i'm just not i don't know about you guys i i hate i hate i just i'm a winter person so yeah i just go on these little walks so it's my high carb day today so that means i get 880 grams of carbs total plus a cheat meal at the end of the day. I do not think I'm going to fully utilize um, the cheat meal, if I'm being honest with you guys. I think what I'm going to do is just eat something that tastes a little bit better. So I'm probably just gonna do rice, ground beef, some cheese, um, just have a little bit more carbs, maybe it's like some pretzels or something. Um, last week, on my, I get two high carb days a week right now. Uh, so my last one I had uh, like burger fries and like almost a whole apple pie and it took I was bloated for way too long so I'm just gonna keep it kind of more clean on the second one I think uh, just because you can go crazy doesn't mean you have to uh, and I honestly honestly I don't really get that many cravings to be honest anymore um, so I just found this apple pie and I like apple pie and it was like really low fat so I just got I pretty much ate the whole thing um, but the way that this day works is the idea is you deplete yourself throughout the week right so you have like your low carb day your medium carb day and then you have a high carb day and the idea is you're kind of like filling your tank back up so like if you weigh um, if you weigh like say 200 pounds and you can consume 500 carbs with well well like maintaining your weight right like say you're not losing weight you're whatever well if you have two of those days and then you have two low days where maybe you have 200 carbs and i'm just making shit up obviously at this point i haven't actually done the math did you deplete with that now your your tank's running a bit low if you're you know if you're doing cardio and training hard you're going to be depleting some of those carbs now you might be able to eat you know eat 100 carbs on your high day or or depending on your metabolism, you know, some people maybe only get away with 600, maybe not that much more. Everyone's a little bit different, but the idea is you can kind of fill up your glycogen reserves after being depleted and you're not gonna store any of it as fat. You're gonna store all of it as like glycogen in the body and you're gonna, you're gonna fill back up and kind of increase your training for the week. So if you're someone that has a decent amount of muscle mass and you're sitting there just hammering your body to the ground I really, really suggest trying to refuel, refuel your body at some point. Um, obviously, if you're one of those people that just, you can't get weight off and you look at food and you get fatter, you probably want to not do that. But for most people that have 
that are pretty lean because this this is also one of those double-edged swords is you probably shouldn't be doing this if you're above maybe like 18% body fat, maybe 15. I, I'm not exactly sure where I'd cut the line. I'd have to see the person more than just kind of see a number. But <clears throat> I, I think personally, carb cycling is really awesome and it really, really makes training a lot more fun. And that's the important part because when you start going three, four weeks into a hole of dieting, your training gets really bad your sleep can get poor. And you know, if you're not doing this to be the best in the world or something, do it a little bit slower. Do it a little bit more fun. You know, that's just my advice. So I'm at the store now. All right, we're at the little market. It's right by my house. So I just come here sometimes to get some fruit. Hopefully they got some bananas. Yeah, this is what I come for. My bananas were starting to look a little bit weird, so I'm going to get two bunches of these. And I don't really think I need much more of anything, so I'm probably just going to get these. Um, but they got some really good stuff here too, like they got some of the fresh fruits, got some eggs. Oh, maybe I'll pick up some asparagus too, actually. All right, we're back. Picked up some bananas, got some asparagus. It's my heart high carb day so essentially what I do is I get uh, uh, my first uh, my first three meals are 160 grams of carbs and 45 protein and zero fat so I actually really like this day because um, those three meals are 160 and then my pre and post workout meal are 175 grams of carbs 45 protein and zero fat and um, I can do half from healthy sources and half from whatever like sugary low fat source. So the idea is like you can have a little bit of fat in your food. So like if you want to have a bowl of cereal and it's got two grams of fat or something like it doesn't have to be like actually zero. But the point is all the sources should be very low fat, you know, like under three grams per serving. You shouldn't be doing high fat steaks and stuff like that or snacks that are, you know, chips like for example would be loaded with fat that would be a bad exam bad idea so um yeah so i really like this day because i can do a lot of fruit and fruit juices so i i, I don't know like i have this feeling that it's something that has to do with like the longer i've ate healthy like dude when i first lost weight on cloud nine and shit i had insane cravings like every week i was just waiting for the pizza um, and Coke that I would order while I watched Game of Thrones, you know, so I Had a very difficult time staying on diet, but I was also not really eating or seasoning my food very well It was very bland um, And I hadn't really figured out the things that I liked for myself um, Which I think is really important. You know if you hate chicken you should eat fish You know if you love fish like you should always try to figure out what you like and what you'll stay with and do that because even if something's marginally better, if you're not going to stick to it, it doesn't really matter. It's, you know, people are like, oh, push pull legs in the gym. It's the best, blah, blah, blah. It's like, yeah, I do that. It's, it's a good split for sure. But if you hate it, if you hate doing push pull legs and you want to do a body part a day, you should do a body part a day. It might be a little bit less effective, but over the course of 10 years, do you really think you're getting double the amount of muscle? because you did push pull legs like no you're not like there are pros that have done push pull legs there's been pros that do bro splits they all come out to relatively close to the same size over time you know so like i said i do think there's faster ways to progress i do think hitting muscles more times in a week is better but i just think at the end of the day it's what you want like what you enjoy right like and obviously if you're trying to make money at this and be a pro that's a little bit different then you should probably be able to make some sacrifices and kind of suck it up if you, if you don't like something so much, right? But at the same time, you're going to be a pro for many years, so you also have that balance as well, right? Um, so again, back to the food. I can have half from healthy, so usually what I'll do is like oatmeal, potatoes, or rice for about 80 carbs. And then for the other 80, I'll do like orange juice. Um, sometimes I'll do like bread and jam, put jam in my cream of rice, like... It might not sound very good, but if you just want easy, high-carb meal, 
cream of rice with strawberry jam, just mix that shit in and get the jam with the full sugar. Like on, on these type of days, you're not going for low calorie, half sugar fruit. You're going for all of it. And you'll actually get better absorption of the carbs if it comes from multiple sources. So if you're getting, you know, some of your carbs from the cream of rice, some from the fruit, and then some with the added sugar, you're getting it from three different sources. And you can, uh, sorry, I'm not, I don't remember all the science that I've ever read, but I believe it's you can absorb one gram of carb per minute um, from a single source. So let's say you have dextrose as your sugar source. You can, if you take 100 grams of it, it's gonna take 100 minutes to get it, all of it into your body. Whereas if you did, you know, one gram dextrose, one gram fructose, and then you're gonna do two grams per minute, right? So if you did 50 dextrose, 50 uh, <clears throat> uh, fructose, you'd, you'd be absorbing it in the 50, 50, you'd get the 100 in 50 minutes instead of 100 minutes, right? So, uh, like, does that really matter for most of us? Probably not, I'm, I'm just saying, technically, you know, if you were like a, a high performance, like runner, sprinter, then I could see it mattering a bit more. Um, but again, I'm not an expert in these fields, so I'm at home now. As you can see, it's just a little walk, it's nice out. Um, I have headphones on so I can listen to like a podcast or music as well. Um, I really just, honestly you guys, I know I say it a lot, but go for your walks, man. They're not that bad, they're pretty fun. All right, boys, I'm gonna show you guys the meal one that I just finished. So we got 45 grams of protein, so that's 200 grams of uncooked chicken raw, some mustard. We got uh, 88 grams or 87 grams of pineapple, which is like 10 grams of carbs Got my supplements. And then here's the money maker. We got 120 grams of oats, 125 grams of banana, 45 grams of uh, brown sugar. And this is gonna taste amazing because you know normally I'm using the fake sugars and everything. So yeah, the high carb day is just the day that I'm like, yes. So I'm gonna go eat this and then I'm probably gonna do a little bit of uh, prep work. All right, boys, we got meal two. This is the one before the gym. I try to keep this one somewhat healthy. Um, so this is 170 carbs, 500 milliliters of orange juice, Diet Coke, obviously. Um, 16 uh, carbs from bananas, 100 carbs from the white rice, it all pretty much equals 170. And then I got 200 grams of chicken in there with a bunch of soy sauce. I added salt and uh, yeah, 100 carbs from the rice and uh, 200 grams of chicken, which is 45 protein. So this meal taught, tastes pretty good, but it's mostly just my pre-workout meal. So I try to make it just all digest fast. And uh, then I'm going to go hit legs. So yeah, see you there. All right, boys, we're on the way to the gym. My girlfriend right here. She's uh, finally come to the gym with me. She's been skipping every single time I make her, try to make her come. She just has some new excuse. You know how it is. Women, you know, she's looking at me very angrily. Um, but as you can see, the air, I don't know if you can see the air, it's really smoky if you can. Like, we have like some fires. Um, I mean, we could have drove, but I mean, it's nice to walk before legs. I'm just gonna go pick up a power aid because it is, uh, my high carb day, so I get 50 carbs intra. And instead of using the powders, I really like the strawberry, like uh, strawberry lemonade Powerade. Just tastes really good to me, so I'm just gonna grab one of those. And then uh, I'll show you some stuff that I'm doing. I should be squatting heavier, unless my back doesn't feel great. Basically, I just go on my back. Does my back feel good? I squat heavy. If it doesn't, I tone it down a little bit. Sucks to suck, but until it's 100%, I'm not gonna hurt it again. All right, boys, got my strawberry lemonade Powerade. There's 42, uh, 41 grams of of those uh, carbs in there, and then I bought these sour gummy bear or these uh, sour snakes, and I had uh, nine carbs from those to equal 50, and then we have 20 grams of amino essential amino acids in here. And that gets my leg day started, so this is my gym. Uh, it's pretty dead at this time, there's not a lot of people, so we are going to start with some calves. So, I don't know, I just kind of start around four plates, it seems to be four or five plates for 15 to 20 reps is usually what I start with. So 
So this one, what you can do is you can start with your body kind of tilted forward um, and basically try to get to, you know, nine to 12 reps. Once it starts getting really hard, you lean back with your body and you can kind of use a little bit of your arms and your and the different positioning to kind of get a couple more forced reps out. And in my opinion, giving a bit of a squeeze at the top and a pause at the bottom helps a lot with calves. And I don't have the best calves, but this is what my coach has me do. So do as many as you can, kind of sitting forward. And then as you start feeling it's too hard, lean back and start using your upper body to kind of help you a tiny bit. And it should be easier leaning back. And that can help you just get a couple extra reps without needing someone to kind of like assist you. Up. I don't have a training partner, so if you do, you can always get help, but. <laughs> I always gonna do some flying handsome curls, so I got four sets of 10 to 12 with positive failure, so that just means like, you're not doing a cheat rep, it's just like, when you can't go up anymore, you can't go up anymore. So, for these, I'm going it's good to go slow and high, so. Use your hamstring at the top. So as you can see right there, I can get about half a rep. If I really wanted to, I could have forced that one out, but my coach has different things that is kind of like laid out in the plan. Like sometimes you're supposed to force those reps, get someone to help you, cheat a little bit, swing a little bit. Um, it all has its time and place, but he kind of changes things based on the day. So like day one versus like day two, like day one is quad focused. So all my heavy lifts are supposed to be done on quads and then the hamstring is more like volume and then the next week it's kind of reverse quads are just volume you know higher reps more sets and then the hamstrings are more pr like heavy weight so next week i would do this but i go one set to pure failure here's four sets of 10 to 12. so you can see it kind of just changes from workout to workout um, because i'm hitting legs probably once 1.5 times a week is pretty much the split i'm on it's but a time and a half will use it. So we're back from training legs and it's time for food. So we have 45 grams of protein from a protein shake. Um, then we have 170 carbs in here. So that's uh, 95 carbs from cream of rice, 25 from the banana. I forget exactly how much for the jam, but it's like five servings in this jam and then I finished off with like six grams of honey just to get the last five carbs because the ratios didn't work out. So I actually really like this. This is kind of like a healthier version of doing like cereal or something. But you know, if you want after your workouts, like, and you have cravings, like you can do fruit loops or whatever. Like if you look at the back, one gram of fat, 24 carbs, like sure. They're not maybe the greatest for you. At the end of the day, you gotta be help like you gotta enjoy your life a little bit. So if like having cereal or something helps you stay on your diet or you know whatever, then I think you should do that. Otherwise, you know you can just do chicken and rice and pineapple or or you know what I'm doing here is fine as well. But yeah, that's what I do. We're in a live match here. Danny's dying again. Oh, we got aggressive on Carson. <laughs> yeah, so this is basically a. Uh, 
kind of like a bonus round. They're just pushing everything like wild men. Um, yeah, so that's my PC setup and stuff. Got some cups. Yeah, that's what I do. This is where the magic happens. Second monitor. All right, boys, we just 2 0 Team 1 for playoffs, so that's awesome. And now it's time for me to eat meal four. This is what we got. We got 25 carbs from orange juice, about 100 carbs from the rice. We got some pineapple in there, 45 grams of protein from chicken, some asparagus, and where's my banana? And a little bit of banana. As you can see, I really like fruit, so. I just eat a lot of fruit when I'm on these high carb days. I also have stuff like this that I can eat if I would like. Starburst Old Pink, but I usually leave this for my last meal. I usually try to do the healthy, my first four, and then my last meal I do kind of whatever I want because honestly my cravings are usually not that high for my last meal. So, you know, we'll just see how it goes. Probably not going to do anything crazy for, my, for this high day, but my next one I'll show you guys and it will be a lot more fun. All right, boys, we're on the final meal, meal five. And guess what? It's whatever I want. 150 carbs, 45 protein, minimum requirements, and everything else is up to me. I can have as much fat, as much carbs, within reason. You know, it's not an eating competition, but... So here's what, I, like I said, I was gonna keep this one a little bit more healthy. So I have like 100 grams of carbs from rice, this organic lean beef that my girlfriend was trying, but... Um, I don't know if she likes it or not. Do you like it? She said it tastes fine, but it doesn't. Beef is kind of hard to digest for some people. Got my Diet Cokes. Got the cinnamon bread. I'm probably gonna come back and make this after, just so it's not like, you know, cold. Um, super amazing from bakery. I might have a couple of these, but I'll just have like a handful and before I go to bed. Um, and then I got two corns and a little bit of bun. And uh, I'm just gonna put the the rice on on the bun on the bun, and I'm gonna eat it. I'm also a little high, <laughs> to be honest. That you probably could tell. I don't know. Let me know if, in the comments. Could you tell I was high, or did you just think I was being weird, or was I totally normal and I'm high, so I'm overthinking everything right now like that? <laughs> I don't know. Let me know.